All right, let's get going. Oh, let's see. Where are we and what were we doing last time? It's been so long. Oh, I think we're at the new station. The um, shield parts one. Possibly. Yeah. Looks kind of like it anyway. Oh, the game's kind of chugging. That's... Mildly concerning. <clears throat> Got graphene production here. I think this one over here is graphene as well. Yep. And then... What is this? Plasma conductor, okay. Yeah, this is the shield factory. What in the world? Okay. Well, we don't need to hang around around this for now. Uh, remember correctly, we had some ships on the way. As in being manufactured. Yes, we have locally produced BFFs on the way. Nice. <clears throat> they won't have shields. But, if we need shields in this system, then, well, hopefully we don't. Let's put it that way. So, why do you have failed orders? Trying to trade for contraband alcohol. Well, that sucks, because we don't have any of that available. Um... Looks like the first two new ships just finished. Um, no, that's one of the ships under construction. Okay, where's the two new ones? What? Fly and wait over there, please. Thank you. And you also fly and wait over there. Thank you. They must have been moved to internal storage or something weird. Um... Let's see, we need to go buy food and medical supplies. Will they show up on the list of stuff Awaiting we need to buy? Orders. No, they are too far down the list. Um... I wish they could remove the things that aren't... Okay, I think food rations. Medical supplies. And... Awaiting orders. Some kind of alcohol. Counterband alcohol. There we go. And we have to click OK. Now, who sells these things? Medical supplies are available here. Buy as many as we can. And bring them back home. Hopefully we don't get shot at because we don't have any shields. Confirm, and then park over here for later binding. Now, 
Let's remove that from the list. Where can we buy food rations? Here at the trading station. Trade with the trading station. Buy vast quantities. Apparently counterband alcohol is actually counterband. That's nice. Okay. We'll buy a load of food. Bring it back. <clears throat> Trade. Sell. Confirm. And then park over here. And what is going to be the freighter parking area? You. Fly and wait. Okay. Now where is the other new ship? The one that's not flying anywhere. Must be docked or something. Lion wait over there, please. Thank you. Okay. We have multiple BFFs available that we can assign to wherever we want. Awaiting orders. I don't know why Imperials want counterband alcohol when they are um, when it's illegal in the area, but anyway. Hello, survey getting started so I don't know yet <laughs> we do finally have our first few home built ships available Awaiting two of orders. which are being sent off on a mission to buy food and medical supplies is there anyone who sells counterband alcohol in the area yes way down here in Hoth um It'd be really risky to send one of our new BFFs down there. Requesting permission to dock. Docking permission granted. Well, let's do it. That's not a very big stock. Okay, go buy straight from the brewery. Expensive, but it requires a large number for us. And let's get back and drop it off here as quickly as we can. Apparently we simply cannot drop off that much, so we're gonna have to leave it at here at the cable spool instead. We're going to have to use transfer wares. Transfer wares with the cable spool, counterband alcohol, 8,000 units. Confirm. And then when you're done with the trade, come back up here and park in the ship parking area. Nice. That should keep us in food, medical supplies, and also counterband alcohol for a considerable amount of time. I will have to set up a trade at the um, cable spool for that. I probably should do it for food and medical supplies as well, but anyway. Great sell offer. Minimum price for sale. Only buy from us. Sell all of it. Do not automatically automatic allocate storage. Allocate 20,000 units of storage to it. No buy offer, just a sell offer. Okay. And we should do the same 
for food and medical supplies as well. Okay, no automatic storage allocation. Allocate another 20,000 units. Create a sell offer. No automatic pricing, minimum price, no automatic sell amount, sell all but one. Only buy from us. Boom. Medical supplies. Allocate 20,000 units. I should create buy offers for at least some of this stuff. Create a sell offer, no automatic sell amount, sell but one, automatic pricing, sell for minimum price, only buy from us. I think the only buy from us is set station wide, but I want to confirm and make absolutely sure just in case I ever change the station setting at some point <clears throat> that things don't get weird. Okay. Now. Workforce. We don't actually need that much alcohol, but anyway, we're going to have enough to supply us for a long, long time. Food and medical supplies, we're definitely going to want some of. I don't know what happens when you don't have um, provisions available. Requesting permission oh, it changes efficiency. Okay. Well, I don't care about recurse efficiency. They can spend all their time running around in the halls rioting about how they're starving for all I care. What I want is to have crews available for my ships. Hello, Dread. Welcome here. Yeah. So that's what happened. That's why counterband alcohol is a thing. You don't have to supply alcohol. You don't have to supply any of this stuff. It's just that if you manage to supply counterband alcohol, then you will get a workforce boost. Okay, that makes sense. Anyway. We might need to do something to increase our crew generation speed. Because when it comes time to crew the big ships, it's going to be hard to get enough crew. I guess we can always go buy crew elsewhere. Really all we need is to provide pilots here. But anyway, food and medical supplies and that kind of stuff. We're going to want to be delivering that to the cable spool. Um, well, we're delivering food and medical supplies to the research facility, but alcohol will be on the cable spool for now. Eventually I will do something beyond just that. Okay, so... This place is done. Good. I remember that now. So engines are fully online. Um, how are we doing? Okay, energy cells are a bit low. That's to be expected because we're not shipping enough in. Um, let's assign this BFF to the cable spool. There, that'll help distribute goods. You have two Gazantes and a BFF assigned to the cable spool. Um, it looks like... Why do you have a Gazanti assigned? What is it hauling?
energy cells, graphene, refined metals, true steel plates. Apparently it's going to go buy graphene. Why? I think I might have assigned it there to um, buy energy cells, but that's a mistake. Anyway, you are going to be reassigned to the cable spool, I think. Damn it, I can't cancel that. Okay, well, we'll wait till it's done with its trades and then we'll order it because I don't know why it's buying graphene. It shouldn't. This place. Oh, I never did set trade restrictions on this stuff. Okay. Yeah, I want to set buy offer restrictions, never buy. Sell all, sure, sell all you want, sell to anybody, I don't care. Buy restrictions, don't buy. And the same for all of the intermediates. Technically they shouldn't have to buy this stuff and if they are buying it, it means there's something wrong with the station it needs to be fixed. Okay. Requesting permission to dock. Docking permission granted. That's that station fixed. And you. Never buy on the graphene. Never buy on refined metals. Perfect. Um, I need to set only buy from us on the other station too for those inputs. Okay. I should probably make it the galaxy wide default to only buy from us and then change it instead of doing it this way. But anyway, this place is now set up. We're out of energy cells there. That is sort of to be expected, unfortunately. That's set properly already. There we go. Everything is set automatically there. Yeah. All right. Um, intermediates. Never buy. Never buy. Feel free to sell. I don't care. Passengers. We'll deal with that when the time comes. Mm. It'll automatically create a buy offer eventually. I don't want that to happen, so I'm just going to go ahead and get ahead of it. Yeah, don't buy intermediates, damn you. All right. Okay. So. Well, 
let's check this place's buy restrictions as well because I don't want to buy from just any old idiot who shows up. That would be bad. Or rather, it would cost me money, which is the same thing. Ah, <laughs> uh, X4. Oh, reminding me that auction not included auto saves aren't so bad. Granting permission to dock. Docking permission granted. Yeah, these are all set to only buy from us already. These are set to buy from anybody because we can't count on the lazy bastards to actually do the right thing. Anyway, I don't have stations that sell those yet. I should set up the cable spool wants to buy that stuff, but we'll see. Now. Pretender still has a leg on its trade. Left to do. Looks like. Alright. Oh. Hmm. Now. This is the shield component. That's the engine component. We're going to need to do another station for um, what do I call it? Um, weapons. This thing is getting pretty close to done. Yeah, it's got all of the factories done on it. So it's just a matter of building the connectors and remaining harbors. So that station, this station's basically done. That's cool. Let's fly over there and take a look. Um, it's not that one. It's definitely not that one. There it is. Not sure what my frame rate is, but I suspect the answer is probably no. Really hope they perfor improve performance noticeably in uh, next version. Not gonna hold my breath though. Okay. It sure is finished, all right. Um, we're going to want to buy some large freighters and start exporting all parts, I think. We're definitely going to be able to get the Imperial shipyards to kick into high gear with this mess. Might want to add more storage to the station. Um, let me take a look at its logistical view. Oh yeah, stage storage is full. Production for hour. It fills this thing in, well, about two hours. I hear a bit over that. Okay. So we're selling pure steel plates here for 146 credits a pop. In the wider universe, they're bought for, well, 270 at our own facilities, but how about place next door? Nobody else has any real need of them. 270 over there in Kwat. None of these guys need them. Okay. Boo. What do we sell them for again? Hundred and forty six, okay. That's not the cheapest anywhere. 
Yeah, Drew's steel plates aren't really in that high of demand. Alright, well we'll just have to use them all up ourselves. Orders. By building cheap, cheap ships. So if we build a minimalist BFF, so thrusters, engine, crew, that's it. I'm going to see how many of these damn things I can build with just what I have in stock already. Not very many, that's how many. Oh. Uh, okay, I can build about eight of them. So let's order, let's say, 20 of them. And we're going to sell as many of these to the locals as we can. Because realistically, I don't really want... Um, BFFs that don't have shields or anything on them. I wish there was a way to order them to be dumped somewhere in particular. I can't get them orders before they're actually built. No. Unknown ship number 13. These must be... NPC orders. Requesting permission to dock. Docking permission granted. Let's take a look here. Mm. I highly doubt any NPCs are ordering ships from me yet. I don't have the supplies to build them. I mean, I kind of do, but I also really don't. And I wish I could set the max gate. This is the problem with assigning trade ships to something. They um, are really dumb. And you can't give them more advanced orders. Like there's no way to tell them to only trade a certain thing unless you set up them up, set them up manually. I, mean, I guess that's fine. You can just set them up manually if you want to. But I'd prefer if I could just tell the um, station manager you are trading this, this, and that within a certain distance and have him magically figure it out. But there doesn't seem to be any real way to do that. Oh. I mean, I think I can give him restrictions as to where exactly he can sell. But that's pretty... Pretty blunt as far as the tool goes. Yeah. <clears throat> we can set subordinate blacklists and stuff like that, but... I wish we could set like trade distance for block for subordinates. Um, yeah, I can set what the trader is. But I can't modify a group's orders in any real detail. Oh well. We'll just let them be not very smart sometimes. Go ahead and clear a bunch of failed tasks. Ideally these should clear themselves after a player settable amount of time. So I don't have to deal with everybody showing orange, I failed my job warnings. 
hours after they actually failed their jobs. Anyway, minor complaint, all things considered. Okay, BFFs. Yeah, there's some unknown ships into construction that I'm pretty sure are not mine. Okay, anyway. Let's go check out the construction. Mm. There it is. So hopefully we can sell a bunch sell these for you know not too little money. The cool thing about making ships to sell is that your goods haul themselves away. I don't have to worry about... Well... I'm running out of money, basically. I need to get bigger hauls, though, because... Then we can produce basically unequipped Docking hauls granted. for... Whatever kind of ship you can imagine. Let's see. They're definitely building more than two at a time, so where are the others? Docking granted. Docking aborted. Docking granted. Docking aborted. Knock it off. I'm not docking. They only showed docking two. Granted. Docking aborted. But we're building more, like, well, several times that. Okay, so it doesn't zoom to individual ships. But there's only two shown there. And none shown down here. Well, it's got something weird going on with shipbuilding in this. Apparently they just are spontaneously producing themselves in internal storage. Which is interesting. I didn't realize the game could do that. Yeah. Sure enough, these are empty. Hmm. So two of them are shown in building and the rest are just kind of whatever. Okay. Odd. Well... Those two look like they're done. BFF bulk freighter. So let's go ahead and sell our first batch of docked. Not doing anything. BFFs. That's eight of them selected. They're all hold position and docked, which means they're otherwise unassigned. Okay, who would like to buy some BFF freighters? Imperials, are you interested in BFF freighters? 745,000 apiece. Okay. What about you, Sinar Shipyard? 745,000 apiece. Okay. How about down here? 745,000 apiece. And you guys? 776,000. It pays to shop around a little bit. 790,000. Ooh, even better. Okay. 
Um, what about over here? 746? Okay. Um, other side of the galaxy. Delivery being your problem, of course. 800,000. Okay. 745. 900. Okay, so shop around. Seven forty five. Seven forty five. Seven forty five. Okay, so it looks like our best bet was was it Genosis or Camino? That's seven forty five. Boom. Nine fifty six each. Pitching. Needless to say, BFFs are pretty decent business if you find the right buyer. Okay. That's not actually what I wanted to do. Um, yeah, let's go check who we're still missing. Yeah. Plates, engine parts, and antimatter converters. We should probably take and assign a couple more BFFs to this place to haul for it. Okay, these are all doing things. You have two more that are going to come off the line in a couple of minutes. Um, okay, the acclimators I think are all busy hauling. Stuff. What are you hauling? Module prefabs. Are they all hauling module prefabs? I think maybe so. No. This one's going to the sunspot to buy energy cells. Okay, I think three of them are hauling prefabs and one's hauling energy cells. Um, let's check to see how our energy cell plant is going. We have all the energy cells in the world available. And various people, including ourselves, are buying them. Looks like we have a million on hand. Okay. We probably should assign a couple more freighters to haul from there. Um, how much does another acclimator cost? Highly unlikely we're going to be able to buy acclimators anytime soon. Or any build acclimators. 10 million. Okay, we have that much money. And we need an acclimator really badly. So, we have another acclimator on order. Yay! Be about 10 minutes before that comes off the line. When it does, energy cells. We need energy cells really badly. I think we're actually doing okay on prefabs. Yeah. I think we're actually doing okay with prefabs. 
Uh, we're going to need to add more storage space for energy cells, though. Well, that's annoying. Can I change this to 5 million without having to retype the whole thing? Nope. Okay. Well, 5 million energy cells. Um... Automatic pricing off. Max price. Come on, auto save, knock it off. finally um what is this orange segment sell up to oh that's the buy up to amount isn't it buy up to all of them module prefab um we have enough allocated for that already okay Yeah, I think we're fine on that now. Five million energy cells should be enough um, for the long haul. We just need to actually get that many hauled in. Which, when that new acclimator arrives, hopefully that will help. Go to the engine parts factory for no particular reason. Well, the new acclimator hauling energy cells. Oh, we're going to have to buy another round of miners again, too. Miners, just whatever he needs. It's gonna be expensive and take forever. Get all the stuff required to build them. I guess that's why we're making as many BFFs as we can manage. Okay, so we have plenty of engine parts and American converters, just need to be hauled. That's yeah, we've got enough to make multiple millions. Go ahead and drain the station's accounts. They shouldn't have any money anyway. Matter of fact, let's do that for the other stations too. These places don't need and should not have money. Okay, that one's already empty. You should be empty as well. It looks like they are selling some to the locals. I'm probably going to want to go in and change all the settings on these stations at some point so that they transship all their materials to the cable spool. And then make everybody stop and buy stuff at the cable spool instead of at these stations so I can better control my cash flow. That seems like it'd probably be a good idea. Anyway, these two BFFs apparently got back with their food and medical supplies that they were hauling. Let's go ahead and assign them here. Awaiting orders. Trade for Commander, Group Alpha. We'll now have four BFFs working for the research facility. What 
let's take a look at the overview here. It looks like they do have some food and medical supplies on hand. Um, not very much, but some. Contraband alcohol should be arriving at the uh, cable spool soon, so they'll get that on hand. All right. Deal. Hello, Nova. <laughs> All your points gone? Good. Gotta keep you guys poor somehow. This is gonna be built in no time. It's the last finishing touches, and then we can go move our builder on to another factory. Start the weapon parts factory. I don't think I'm really prepared to build the weapon parts factory yet, as far as being able to supply it with enough miners to keep it busy. Even this place doesn't really have enough miners. Oh, well, it just doesn't need gas miners. Um, how much money do I have? Seven million? How much does the gas miner cost again? We need to go on another blueprint, blueprint buying spree soon. Okay, gas collector. Basic, 5.9 million a pop. Ouch. Okay, we could buy one. Mm. Anyway, hello, Seeloth. How are you? The new acclimator should be coming off the line in four more minutes. Good deal. Asteroid. You'll be assigned to the. Um, Energy cells trade. Docking granted. Docking avoided. Permission to dock. Docking permission granted. Okay. You know that um, Space Shooter is playing a little bit last week, Chorus? It just doesn't quite... I don't know. I like X4's flight model better for flying close to things. Seems a little snappier. I read one of those days at work where you're running around constantly and the day feeling like you didn't accomplish anything. Um, most of the time when I feel like I didn't accomplish anything, it's because I didn't do much. <laughs> but I wouldn't know so much about running around constantly. That was kind of fun. Anyway. With our ability to build homegrown freighters now, finally. Hopefully soon with shields at their very own. We'll be able to expand our local freighter fleet to the point where we will no longer have transportation bottlenecks, I hope. And then we'll be able to produce even more freighters to sell, which will allow us to buy blueprints for better freighters. Because we do need some large freighters. We're not going to have a giant mass of medium freighters doing everything. That would be dumb. Being a chorus, you end up buying it after the first stream. Skipped a couple of streams after, not spoiled too much. How far have you gotten? Like, roughly. How many systems in? Unless you haven't been playing much. Hmm. <clears throat> I considered playing it today, but I decided it was time for some good old X4 instead.
Because at the end of the last time I streamed it, I just did a big old boss fight. It was pretty cool. Really hard, but pretty cool. And that's all I'm going to say about it. Because <laughs> if you don't want spoilers, I'm not going to spoil it. The story seems serviceable so far. I don't have anything against it. All in all, it was money well spent. Anyway, let's do something useful. Um, problem is, what is useful to do around here right now? At first, out of the corner of my glance, I thought that was a um, an ISD. But nope, it's the shipyard. Acclimator is done. This one we're going to assign to repeat orders. Uh, I need to finish undocking before we can do that. Barely got started, knocked out several side missions in the first area. That's about all. <clears throat> yeah, it's pretty cool. And that's all I'm going to say about it. I shall save the spoilers and for your sake. <laughs> I wish I had more days in the week to um, just play games. Oh, well. Unfortunately, most of my... Uh, a surprising number of just days out of every week are blocked out for spe specific purposes, so I don't really have a lot of time to just do random games either. Like, Tuesdays, we're still on the RTS kick. Um, Thursdays is Borrow Trauma. And then Saturday and Sunday, we have whatever the weekend game is, which at this point is Oni. And that's... Solid four days out of a week right there. And only leaves three days for other stuff. And into those days, there's a whole bunch of things that I really want to do. So if I want to play a little bit of X4 and a little bit of MechWarrior or something, that's two out of three days. Yep, it's a bit problematic. Okay. Buy from Sunspot. Energy cells, maximum amount, max price, don't care. Confirm. And then fly from the sunspot to the cable spool. Sell to the cable spool. Sell where energy cells. Minimum price. Lowest possible, don't care. Sell them all. Yes. All right. Requesting permission to dock. Docking permission granted. Now, that should double our energy cell income in this system. Um, we need more BFFs to assign to the cable spool. Do I have any that have finished construction? Doesn't look like it. Wait, what are these two? Okay. Trade for commander. Group alpha. 
I have the Euro King? Nope. This is the Star Wars mod, so the Euro King doesn't even exist. Unfortunately. But. The next run is going to be with the um, new DLC whenever that launches. So if we finish this run before then, then I'll just take an X4 break until it's time for the DLC. And if the DLC comes out before this run is finished, then we're just going to drop this like a hot potato and go straight over to that. And in that, well, I'm going to modify my plans somewhat because I was originally planning to do a run of the base game story. Maybe play as a parented or something. Since I haven't really done any of the parented storylines yet. But with the Boron story coming out, obviously we'll have to do that instead. And I think I'm probably going to try to throw in Green and the Earl King in with that. I'll have to think about it some. Probably avoid doing any weirdo challenges or anything. Because while the only Terran ch challenge was interesting, it also was a bit limiting. Currently, walk. Currently, my fleet is a bit um, docking granted, docking aborted. Small. I'm getting a decent-sized and growing industrial capacity, but as far as combat ships, I have the Pretender. which we're going to go see right now. The Pretender is... ...546 Cruiser. Which I have since learned is from the Mandalorian TV show, apparently. It is a modified version of a existing Imperial Light Cruiser design. Except it has a hangar and heavier weapons. So that's a pretty cool little ship. Also, frame rate is just killing itself right now. And over here somewhere, Imperial Star Destroyer Two. We have an Imperial Two, the Marauder. <clears throat> and the Marauder is, well, an Imperial Imperial Two class. It is fully outfitted with all the fun guns. Also, it's carrying... 20 scimitar bombers. And I think... I can't remember if it's... I don't remember how many it is, actually. Let's check. If I don't... Say something dumb. Okay, Marauder. It has... Yes. 40. Well, it would be 40, but one of them was killed. 40 TIE Interceptors and 20 Scimitar Bombers. Which is a pretty reasonable load, I think. Why do you look blue? Probably just the lighting. Bonk. That wasn't the button I wanted. Docking granted. That is the one I wanted. I am annoyed with this thing being damaged all the time, so let's try to repair it. Okay.
there. Mm. Mm. I could do a full complement of TIE Defenders if I wanted. Um, if I wanted to pay that much for, to buy them all. I do not quite have the ability to build fighters yet. At least not fighters that would matter in any given way. I think I bought a tie. I think I bought everything needed to make a tie. But I don't have a supply source for guns yet. Or shields. So I could make ties that don't have shields and just have engines on them. Which I mean... Effectively, ties don't have shields even in this mod. They have really weak ones that basically don't matter. They kind of exist to give you a way to use your thrusters, and that's about it. Depends on the um, tie, of course. But I definitely could get more ISD2s if I had the money, which I don't. And I definitely could load them all down with tie defenders if I had the money, which I don't. And that lack of money is the main reason why I'm not marching my um, tie into Imperial space, into Rebel space, and telling them to hand it over. Mm. Uh, Raider Corvette. I don't think I own one. Um, I have to check. I bought some stuff. I don't think I bought one of those yet. Let's see. What do I have parked around here anyway? We have a customs Corvette, a TIE Phantom, a TIE Defender, and a Defender Corvette. I don't think I bought the Raider. I think I could buy them if I wanted to. Now let's go take a look at them. The Raiders are kind of weird looking, if I remember correctly. So let's see. Raider Corvette. High preset loadout. Yeah. Yeah, they're kind of cool looking. I don't really like the way the bridge looks, though. Let's see, what do they arm them thing, arm these things with? Two missile launchers, four quad lasers, and two light turbo lasers. It's not very heavily armed at all. Hmm. They do not have any forward guns, so it's all turrets. That is one thing this mod has. That does a lot. Pretty much anything bigger than a fighter won't have forward guns. I guess there are some capital ships that have forward guns, but they're really rare. Like the Banking Clan ship, I think, has... Awaiting orders. Uh, let's see if I can get that loaded up to look at. Um, is it listed here? Or is it next size bigger? Might be an XL. Yeah, this thing. Apparently it has two heavy turbo lasers and two heavy ion cannons in the nose. And then it's got rows and rows of turbo lasers around the front. This thing looks mean and nasty. If you can get anything underneath this, like anything above it, it's like, ah, okay, what, what can you do to me, you know? Anything below it, you're in for a bad day. And if you're off to the left or right or even worse in front of it, in front and slightly below maybe, oh yeah. All the turbo lasers in the world are going to open up in your position. 
<laughs> I'm guessing these two are either the turbo lasers or the uh, ion cannons, and then the others are right here, I think. But this thing just looks mean. It kind of looks, okay, yeah, you know, that's really pretty and all that, until you notice how many cannons it's got on it. 22 dual turbo lasers. 20, 26 other dual turbo lasers. I'm not sure what the differences are between the two. And then nine more of these. Um, this is just what it equipped it with automatically. I'm not sure if you could equip it with something different. Yeah. So these are all one group. These are all one group. It's even worse than that. Both top and bottom are one group. There's two groups of mediums, and the rest are groups of smalls. Hmm, okay. Oh, okay. So these last two slots have a larger selection of available weapons than the others. So we could put dual lasers. Ah, yes, these are dual lasers, not turbo lasers. Okay. 22 dual labors. Dual lasers. So these you could actually probably want to upgrade to something else. We could go to a quad laser. For a very slight firepower decrease. I want would want them to green though so that they show up different from the turbo lasers. And these would be small dual turbo lasers. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, so you have quad lasers, 22 green quad lasers, 9 orange turbo lasers, and 26 red turbo lasers. Also, it's kind of cool that there's guns where there's multiple variations. That the only thing that's different is the color. Am I excited for the new update um, of the mod? I have not been paying any attention to what updates might be coming. And I don't know if I'll even update, depends on if I notice it or not when it happens. But I know they were talking about updating the mod, but that's my extent of my knowledge on that. Um, update for the game. I am extremely excited. And I will definitely be dropping everything and playing that for a few weeks. The very instant it lands. Unless the mod update adds something earth-shattering new, it's, I'm unlikely to worry too much about it. Anyway. Honestly, I don't really like the way the balance is, what I've seen of it so far in this mod. It feels more Star Wars, but... I don't know. I like having big front guns on my ships. What I want to see in X4 right now is Boron. <laughs> It's 
Star Wars is cool and all, but the novelty is wearing off, and then I'm just left to the left to the mod that has crappy fighters. And no good um, heavy mediums to make up for it. Not to say it isn't fun, because it is fun. It's cool flying around the Star Wars ships, but that's really all this mod has to offer as far as I'm concerned. Flying around in cool Star Wars ships. Anyway, how are we doing with construction? Oh, because if there's more BFFs waiting, which there are, we can sell them. Requesting permission to dock. Let's see if the same guys as last time are willing to spend a lot of money on them. It was Genosis. 855. 745. 822. 851. Dots don't like us enough, of course. 746. Oh, I don't think I checked what Naboo would pay. 793. Okay, 855 is still the best deal. Ching. Nice. And that would buy us another. Um, we're going to call it. I would buy us another acclimator. Although I should probably save my money and buy blueprints instead. In this case, let's order a whole bunch of TIE Fighters. With basic engines and thrusters and no guns, and no shields. Minimum required software and minimum required crew. Okay. These are going to be called export model. Boom. Okay. Add to shopping list. I would like to order a hundred of them. That's way more than we have available. That's fine. More materials will be delivered as we build. The reason I'm building so many ties is so that I can just select piles of ties and sell them without having to worry about which of those ships are for me and which are not for me. Because if it's a basic model tie, it's for sale. I don't need any myself. I will be making tie interceptors and such like for myself. Some of them are building much more slowly than others. Oh, probably because we um, don't have enough construction drones for all of them, at a guess. Not sure if that's how that works or not. I suspect that that's the first thing that jumps to mind that would explain why they're being built at different rates. Okay. What I do need to buy is more miners, I think. Um, We're actually doing okay at this station. Okay, so we don't need more of that. About this place. This place is probably doing fine as well. 
Yes. Largely because we're just not using that many. And this place could use another gas miner. So let's order a gas miner. I would like to get the blueprints for them, but we need weapons production first. Size large, Herculon gas. Basic configuration. We'll buy two of these. Goodbye money, you'll be missed. All right. We do have everything except the advanced electronics to do teleportation research. Let's go ahead and add some money to our each station account. And hope that they buy the advanced electronics we need. Okay, we already set that up to be only buy from us, but that's fine. We'll just go ahead and buy them manually. How many do we need? 200. That's not very many at all. Um, do we have a BFF around here that's not doing anything? Yeah, you. Okay. Advanced electronics. Who is selling advanced electronics in the neighborhood? No one. Way up here. Go ahead and buy a few hundred advanced electronics. What? Oh. There we go. I was going to say, why doesn't it let me buy them? Because I hadn't confirmed that was the number I wanted. And then... Trade with the research facility. Unload advanced electronics. Ching. Park back over here. All right. Beautiful. Soon we'll be able to teleport a little farther. Probably should have spent some time and money on that a long time ago. Requesting permission to dock. Docking permission granted. I'd like to scatter some teleport anchors around. Yeah, the game's chugging like crazy. Just look at this. Slideshow. Now it's running much more smoothly. Apparently doesn't like that station. It's still not great as far as frame rate goes. Um, let's just play the frame counter. I should probably rig this so you guys can see it instead of just me. Or get one that can show for stream. Yeah, frame rate is 35. Ouch. That's low enough that... Um, G-Sync isn't even able to take, quite take care of it. And the frame rate in this system is only going to get worse. Let's go visit the cable spool. So remember correctly, G-Sync only goes down to about 40 FPS. I've never really seen G-Sync side by side with non-G-Sync. 
So I can't really say for sure how much effect it has. But I do have to admit, frame rate has to get really low before I start to notice it. Nowadays. And I wonder if it isn't mostly because of that. Because of adaptive refresh rate. Obviously, I'm sure that doesn't help stream at all, but... Well... Sucks to be you guys, I guess. <laughs> Come on, I'll save. Hurry up. Oh, uh, well. I do kind of wish I could put this monitor side by side with a um, one of my old monitors just so I can get a better feel for how the difference is. Because this, well... I went from 60 hertz max, 1080p to 1440p, 165 hertz with G-Sync. And you can never quite be sure what to blame for what as far as things being better. It's just that, wow, things are way better. Hmm, I wonder which feature does it. <laughs> Is it the high refresh rate? Is it G-Sync? Is it both? Anyway. If I just look off into space, nothing really going on. Frame rate does go up a little bit. I think it's about 45 or so now. Look back at the station where there's a bunch going on. Frame rate drops down to about 35. But obviously there's a lot going on with the frame rate that has nothing to do with what is being drawn on the screen. If you left the system, it might get better, I don't know. Actually worth a test. It's not like we have anything better to do right now. Jump beacon, Necropolis. Let's go to the next system and find out what the frame what that does to the frame rate. Because this place is getting to have a fairly large number of um player controlled assets really when you think about it though it's not that big busy of a system it's only got a few stations that doesn't really explain why the frame rate is somewhat crap oh, could it just be that it's getting to the point in the game where it starts to chug a little jump completed necropolis oh. Boom, we're at 64 frames a second right now. <laughs> Just like that. Yep, I think that system is starting to chug. Yeah, just flying around in here is 50, 60 frames per second. Which is still bad, but it's about the most you can get out of X4, except on a really good day. At least with this mod. X4 just doesn't run very well. 
I really hope the next up next version improves performance a lot. It needs it. Also looking at the map makes the game chug. Anyway. Ties. Ties for days. Fifty three of them currently. We have another forty seven left to go. Um, I'm going to sell half of them. As in, I'm going to sell 50 ties, and then we'll sell another 50 later. Let's shop around. Who wants to buy 50 ties for bargain basement prices? Okay, one point. Damn you. Hundred fifty thousand, hundred fifty thousand. Ties don't sell for very much. Hundred fifty thousand. Hundred fifty thousand. Hundred sixty eight thousand. Hundred fifty seven thousand. Hundred and sixty three thousand. Hundred and fifty thousand. Hundred and fifty thousand. Okay, it looks like these guys over here are the best again. Hundred and sixty eight thousand. For sale. Ching. Honestly, building ties for export is probably not the greatest way to make money. See, who did I sell them to again? Hirsch Kessel? Yeah. HKD. I'm not sure, sure how it's pronounced. Um, We need to buy some more Hall Blueprints. The problem is, the way to get more Hall, blueprint, Hall Blueprints is to make more money. The way to make more money is to build more stations. How are you doing? Okay, this place is almost done. Probably be like another hour and it'll be done completely. We might finish that yet tonight. That place is done. Let's move the construction ship forward over here so it'll be closer to where we actually want to start building the next station. It looks like it's time to start planning our construction ship. So, I think, I, not my construction ship, the, what do I call it? Weapons. Okay. So, according to my notes, we need about six dirt. Components to every one advanced Awaiting electronic. Orders. That's nice. Uh, one about four turret component factories. So this says two advanced electronics factories. That is not the same ratio as I declared I would want to do. Um, okay, whatever. And two times weapon component factories. Okay. For that, I need. Here, let's cut and paste you in a different file. 
Get you out of the way. We don't need shield components or field coils. <clears throat> um, microchips, capacitors, sensor components. Not plasma conductors. Okay. Boom. All right. Turret components, advanced electronics, weapon components. For this, we need twelve hundred, about seventeen hundred or so microchips, which is two times microchip factories. Then About 1100 or so capacitors, which is one capacitor factory. Then 60 sensor components, which is one sensor component factory. Dura steel plates, which we will import. The Bona cells which we will not import. Uh, we probably should though, honestly. Oh, that's why that station had a um, an AI assigned to it because it was importing um, pure steel plates. Okay, so for microchips, we need 6,000, 1,200, so 7,000 silicon wafers, for which we need two silicon wafer productions. <clears throat> I think. No. Yes. Ooh. It uses just barely more than one silicon wafer production, so we need two. Damn it. Um, capacitors. Needs one graphene. One superfluid. Sensor components. Needs one R metal. And a little bit more silicon wafers, which you have plenty of. Okay. So we need one graphene, one R metal, two silicon wafers, one tabana cell. Unless we import them, which we probably should. Hello, Caesar. Welcome here. This is going to be, sadly, a fairly large factory. With a lot of overproduction, because that's just the way it works. Um, We'll do the banal standard five in every direction. Create a new plot. Put it right over here in ship parts row. Okay. Load small factory spine. That should do just fine. 
room changes. Hire a builder. You. I choose you. All right. Now, back to my notes. One graphene, one R metal. Like that. Boom. One R metal. Um, like that. Two silicon wafers. We'll just put them into together like that for now. Um, they're not going to stay that way, I doubt. One Tabana cell. We'll import those. One superfluid. Okay. Rotate that around. Boom. Nice. Okay. One sets are components. Go ahead and rotate it like so, and then like that, and then like that. Put it over there so it looks a little better. Okay, one capacitor. Boom. We'll put it right on top of that. That's about the coolest place you can put it. <clears throat> You're building a new PC, Caesar? That's cool. Um, two microchips. How do I arrange this one? I think we'll do like that. And like that. Anyway, two microchips, two weapon components, and four turret components. Okay, there's turret components. These are going to be interesting, but since it's four of them, that'll make it easy. Actually, wait, I had a cool idea. I can attach them to each other in kind of like a ladder design. And then 
Boom. Just attach it right underneath the spine. That's cool. <clears throat> so 4070 Ti already. 14 core i5 case motherboard DDR5 still need power supply and 2 terabyte SSD. SSD is one of those things you can never have a big enough one. <laughs> okay, two weapon components. Where is the connector on this? There. Um, where do I want to put that? Well, hmm. Go away, auto save. I'm busy. Well, okay, I think I'm gonna do like this. Put one of those on top. And we'll put one on the bottom. And then we'll rotate the silicon and put one on each side. Like that. Ta da! Weapons factory should, in theory, be done. Confirm changes. And we just let that build. Approximately one year from now, we'll be able to build fully featured, ready to go stations. This place is almost done, or ships, I mean, not stations. This place is done. Beautiful. Uh, where's the construction ship? I didn't hire a construction ship for that one, did I? Pretty sure I owned that one. No, maybe not. Oh yeah, for some reason the construction ship's over here. What? What are you doing there? This place is definitely done being constructed, right? Yes. Okay. What's the military sitting at? Um. Still... One Imperial class Star Destroyer and one 546 cruiser with accompanying fighters. That's it. Well, N50 export model TIE fighters. Or eventually 50 of them. We have 28 built and 22 more waiting to build. But those are going to be sold for money. Anyway. As of now, everything is designated. Um, where are those new gas miners I just bought? Here we go. You two. Get over here. One of you we're going to assign directly to this factory. Mine for commander, group alpha. The other will be, I'm not sure what yet. But we have a free gas miner. You'll either get assigned here or eventually here. I need to sink more money into, mi into miners for this place. I'm 
I would really like to figure out a way to um, I'd really like to figure out a way to get a um, a better arrangement for my miners. I could do like a mining station and then have it distribute automatically, but I don't need to own a lot more miners in the end to make that work. Because unfortunately, normal freighters can't carry ore, which is weird, by the way. I don't think they allow normal freighters to haul. Let's see, do I have any? Let's take a look at the acclimator. Yeah, they just hold container storage. They don't have container or solid like some freighters in vanilla do. Middle there aren't very many that are that way. <clears throat> Honestly, they should make it so that all freighters can haul either kind. Support a Star Destroyer ISD on patrol at least 20 minutes. Assign targets to you when your targeting computer is free. Okay. Interesting. Basically, go destroy all the enemies in the sector. Spend at least 20 minutes there. Oh, no, actually, end early from five minutes. No, the Star Destroyer can travel up to 20 meters a second. Okay. So you don't want something too slow or you won't be able to keep up with it. <clears throat> I highly doubt I'd want to actually do that mission. How much does it pay? Um... Doesn't even say how much it pays. It doesn't look like it does. No, it doesn't. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Once these stations are finished, then I need to just crank out a bunch of money. By selling ships, mostly. And once I have made enough money selling ships, and from whatever other sources I can make money, then I can buy blueprints to make better ships to sell and to make my own. And at that point, we can really start focusing on getting a good navy. Well, let's go through the back through the gate. Actually, has that BFF arrived yet? Um, no. Also, we're currently out of antimatter converters. Although, that'll be fine. Oh, we need to get a source of Reodium oh, for ourselves, too. I don't think I bought the blueprints for that. But even building fairly large ships doesn't use much of that, so... At this point, I can basically build infinite free ship hulls. As long as they're small and medium. We need to get enough money to afford the um, large and extra large shipyards as well, of course. That is going to be a while. Jump completed. Etrosia.
Making money is annoyingly difficult sometimes. Definitely. The last couple of runs, I took the easy way out for making ships. With the first run, using closed loop. And um, last run, doing all Terran. I wonder what the Boron are going to use for economy. Because if they end up having their own economy separate from everybody else, it's probably going to be another overly simplified one. And I don't think that's a good idea. The Terran economy is already a bit... a bit too simple. The closed loop economy is a bit... Or a lot too simple, as long as you don't mind having just Argon gear. The thing is, as long as you're willing to put Argon turrets on your defense stations, which, I mean, considering Argon turrets are the best ones as far as I can tell anyway, for that purpose. How soon will the update be coming out? I don't actually know. Um... I would guess not too long. Going by the fact that they have it in beta. But I don't actually know. Could be a long time. <sighs> Could be next month. Who knows? This is indeed the Star Wars Total Conversion. And thank you very much for the follow. It's render. Greatly appreciated. X4 is quite good. The old rule about when buying an X game, just buy the latest one. It may have faltered a little bit around X Rebirth, but it definitely holds true when it comes to X4. The Tides of Avarice DLC... Um... It's okay. But I wouldn't call it as essential as the Terran and the um, Split DLCs. Because those, they add whole factions that were missing from the game when it came out at first. I don't think this requires any DLC. I don't remember though. I kind of doubt it requires any of the DLCs. It doesn't use any of the base game ships. Although it does use some base game station parts and stuff. On Nexus it was saying you needed all three. Well then it probably does need all three. I know it uses like Terran station parts. So I guess it would have to have at least that one. Uh, I'm not sure what it pulls out of Avarice. But it probably uses something from there that it needs. I haven't seen any split station pieces, but then I haven't seen stations for all the races yet. Actually, now that I think about it, I think maybe the Mandalorian stations use split parts. Bonk. Oh, that was dumb. I think we're stuck. Nope. Or at least we became unstuck. Also, this frame rate is going to kill me. It's down to 25. I really didn't like this system. 
Not today, anyway. I should probably stop hanging out, hanging out around this area. I'm not sure why, but this mod, and partially this mod. Yeah, sitting out here, it went all the way back up to 45, which is still low, to be clear, but a lot better than it was close to that station. Okay, how close are you to finished? Just the last couple factories left. Okay. And how close are we to having a full complement? Of export ties. Okay, we're eight ties away from having a group of 50. Okay. It looks like we have a lot of miners who don't have anything to do here. Probably because this factory is basically shut down. I may or may not have overbuilt it slightly. I need to find something that I can make that doesn't use many engine parts. I can just crank out massive amounts of haul. Unfortunately, I would suspect the best way to do that would be to build large capital ships. And I can't really, don't really afford the blueprints for any of those. Yet. Yeah, we're currently short on antimatter converters. Which I think we have plenty here. They just need to be delivered. Yeah, we have plenty that need to be delivered. Do I have any more BFFs to assign? We have one. Trade for Commander Group Alpha. Listen here, you dumbasses. Go trade. Random matter converters. Why is it just sitting there? Um, let's check to make absolutely sure the trade stuff is set up right. Let's go ahead and change these settings. Let's leave those two alone. Well, let's not retain any. Mm. Automatic sell amount, probably okay. There shouldn't be anything stopping a BFF from going to pick up a load. Return to my roots. Oh, stream title. X4 is one of the first games I ever streamed on this channel. Or at least the first, one of the first ones I ever streamed that people actually watched. <laughs> Not the first, but one of the first. Well, if they're not going to automatically trade, let's just go ahead and order them to do it anyway. Anyway, remember correctly, the very first game I ever actually streamed on this channel 
was a little tiny bit of Minecraft. App is drowning people. <laughs> that sounds like half. Yeah, apparently borrow trauma just updated today. This morning, I think. Okay. Boom. Anyway, I'm pretty excited for uh, Thursday Borrow Trauma because that should mean um, get to see what all the new content is. Probably won't have changed much actually but why is there a bunch of gas collector drones just flying across the middle of nowhere somebody tried to leave their drones behind apparently any more trains derail in ohio not that i've heard of Not that I've heard of. Although apparently trains derailing isn't actually all that uncommon of a thing. Something like 1,500 a year or something. I guess in that counts pretty small incidents, but... But of course... If it happens nowadays, it's front page news because of the big one. Let's go take a look at the rows of TIE fighters parked in the um, hangars here at the shipyard. I think it's this wing that has them in. Nope, it's the other one. Docking granted. Docking aborted. It's the other one. So, we're almost done with the shield component factory. Yeah, that rail is, like, abysmally maintained, too. Might as well say it isn't maintained, which I guess probably is correct. And it only takes Docking granted. <laughs> one or two low-speed trains every now and again. They really should um, fix it up some, but I guess the money just isn't there. Well, it isn't actually that cool. They rebuilt it this summer? That's surprising. Get away from this station before it makes me want to barf for this low frame rate. Docking aborted. Not that sitting out here is much better, really. Anyway. Customs Corvette. This is, um, here, where am I? Over there. Move all orders. I don't remember which one this is. Let's teleport over there. Oh, they've been hauling fertilizer. 
Oh yeah, this thing. I think the number one thing I like about this mod is that they Customs um, Corvette. have custom interiors on almost all the ships. Which, that had to be a lot of work. I guess it wouldn't be that much more work than doing the ships in the first place, I guess. This one may or may not have a couple of lighting bugs. <laughs> Okay, let's teleport back over to the interceptor. Okay. Hi, interceptor royal. Got my seat. How are things going at the brand new, just started to be built factory? They are just starting to build it, unsurprisingly. Um, I think I can assign a manager to it now. So let's grab a random person from a ship crew. Boom, you. Work somewhere else for me. Work over here as a manager. Boom. Coming home for Easter? Probably not. That would be a long ways to drive for a minor holiday. I think I'm getting off work around there then though. So yay, long streams. <laughs> I guess if you want to see me around then, you'll have to come down here. Okay, so that station spine is being worked on. That's definitely not going to finish up tonight. This... I think these take like 30 minutes to build, so we got another hour almost of building the last couple bit bits of this station. This one's done. Surprised how fast we've gotten to actually having industry in this place. We're just, the engines are done, hull's done, shield and weapons are getting done. I think the last thing we need is, um, we'll look at the encyclopedia quick. If we want to build big stuff, we need um, rhodium cores. And I think that's just a matter of Building a small refinery station. Yeah. Requires a mined resource and energy cells, and that's it. So we could probably just pop these onto any old station. Put two or three of them on, and boom. Well, see you later. Let's see, does this station have, not station, this system. Okay, it does have rhodium. Not sure how that's actually pronounced. I'm probably mangling that horribly. Anyway, it does have the thingy in question here. So we could just probably slap a couple of those onto this station or something and be good. Um, this place is going to need a freighter assigned to it eventually because we have to import Um, oh, what all do we have to import? We have to import hall plates and Tabana gas.
I probably should have signed it a freighter now before I forget. This one doesn't appear to be doing anything useful. Trade for commander, group alpha. That is why this one had a freighter assigned to it, so I'm glad I didn't reassign it. Because he is hauling haul plates. That is his purpose in life. And energy cells, if he can. But his main reason to exist is to haul haul plates, I think. Work our clay? Or are we producing haul plates here already? No, we better not be. Maybe this place didn't need haul plates. Then why not have a dedicated hauler assigned here? Hmm. That's weird. Okay, maybe this place doesn't need a um, assigned freighter. The other one definitely does. Was it this place that needs an assigned freighter? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, doesn't look like it. Well, then I should grab this Kazanti and assign him to the cable spool. Boom. Because this place does not need to have an assigned freighter. And you don't need a signed freighter either. Actually, maybe he should have one. No. What is he hauling? Looks like he's trying to sell refined metals. Weird. Mm, we'll leave him alone for now. Worst case, he makes a little money. Oh no. The main thing I wanted to ensure, though, is that this place... Well, we're not going to be able to ensure that by not assigning them freighters, I guess. I would like to make it so that these places do all their buying and selling to the cable spool. So I don't have to keep stopping by and stripping them all their money. But we're never going to be able to reach that point. Ever. Also, instead of clicking plan build, I should just keep clicking um, logical review or whatever it's called. Oh, we need to get drones assigned here too eventually. This place is going to be very complicated and require a lot of miners. All to build just a couple minor items. Oh well. That will be for the future. It is 10.30. And I should probably go to bed. I'm not going to, but I probably should. Let's save the game. And... Let's all go watch AF play Borrow Trauma. Yeah, there we go. Um, thank you all very much for coming. I greatly appreciate every single one of you being here. And hopefully I will see you all tomorrow for some Command and Conquer Generals.
I do believe we are in the middle of the GLA campaign for Zero Hour. And we'll see how it goes from there. Until then, uh, let's all have fun over at Apps. And I will see you all later. Good night. And goodbye.